Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd. We almost had a slight accident there pulling out of the driveway. I forgot it's trash day. I almost ran into the trash can because Jim puts it on my side of the driveway because I very seldom leave to go anywhere. But I have some running around to do today, so I thought I'd take you with me. Um, but we have some birthdays today. Well, we have one birthday. It's my niece Kathleen's birthday. Here's a picture of her with her boyfriend. Dan. I say boyfriend because they've been together forever and ever and ever, and now they've just officially claimed that they're boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> but they've been together for years. Anyway, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathleen. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Love you, love you, love you. We're going to do her birthday, too, on Thursday. We're doing birthday dinners. On Thursday, we're doing Aaron and David, because both of their birthday is on Saturday, the 27th. And then we're doing Kathleen's birthday, which is today. But that's the only birthdays we have. So, Kathleen, you got to celebrate all by yourself. Celebrate, celebrate all by yourself. Anyway, we have anniversaries today. Is Bobby and Bill Hart's anniversary, 19 years. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Hope you have a great anniversary, but it's also Linda and Brian Himmelshaw, H-E-M-M-E-L-S, I can't read my writing, B-A-D. Linda and Brian, it's your anniversary. I'm going to put your correct spelling right here because I have to look it up again. I, I can't read my writing. I have to do a little bit better. Sister Mary Catherine would be coming across and hit me with a ruler, let me tell you. But Linda and Brian, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I'm sorry I messed up your last name so bad. But it's also Sherry and Dale Johnson's anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. I hope you have a great anniversary. Thank you for having an easy last name. But it's also Bobby and Tama Joy's. Sizemore's 19th anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope all you couples have a great anniversary. I usually don't have that many couples at the same day having this anniversary. But I hope you all have a great day. It's kind of like a gloomy day here today. I'm thinking that everybody in Detroit is hoping it stays gloomy today and tomorrow and then perks up Thursday, Friday, Saturday <clears throat> because the NFL draft is in downtown Detroit and they're hoping to have nice weather. But right now they're predicting rain, which won't stop people from coming, but it won't get as many people. But like I said, we got things to do today. I'm going to get my hair cut. Then I go to the dollar store to get some birthday cards. Mary wanted me to pick her up some birthday cards too. And then, uh, what else I got to do? I'm going to go to the post office and see if I got any mail. i got to go to the bank to order some Canadian money from my Vancouver when we're in Vancouver. We're only in Vancouver, well, we'll be there in, really in Vancouver two days. We'll have it Tuesday, the day before we go on our cruise. And then um, when we come in, the boat, the ship docks at 7 in the morning. But my plane to come home isn't until 11 o'clock that night. So we'll be spending the day in Vancouver. So I want to have some Canadian money. I think it's always better to get it at home than to try to get it there. I don't know that they have it on hand. I think they have to order it. That's why I wanted to do it today. And then I got to go to CVS to pick up Jim's prescription. And then I got to go pick up Alyssa from school. I already talked to Mary. Good news, bad news. Good news is they think that she's going to come home on Friday. The bad news is there's not going to be anybody around to help her out as much as that she needs to because I'll be gone. So she talked to the 
she's going to talk to her therapist when she goes for her therapy today. Her, her left leg is still kind of weak, so she's going to kind of play on that. Tell her that she needs a little bit more help with her PT on her leg. And then just that she has no place to go because uh, her house is not safe. And uh, and everybody is family. Well, okay, let me in here first. I was here first. Mm. Uh, anyway, um, her family's going on the vacation, so we'll see how that works out for her. But All right, first stop, haircut. Well, we're back. And I like my haircut. It's I'm shedding still <laughs> because uh, I had her thin it out a little bit because my hair is so thick. She says, "Well, if I do that, you're gonna you're gonna be shedding for the day." And I said, "That's completely fine. I'm used to it." And then she was kind of concerned about my colics. I said, "Um, that those are part of life. <laughs> I don't worry about them." So I think she did a pretty good job working around my colleagues. There's a couple in the back that you can't see. She showed me with the mirror. She said, I tried my best. I said, I said you're fine. So by the time I go on my cruise next week, this will be perfect. I'd like to get it cut the week before, but now i got hair going down the back of my neck. So I, go, I got gas the other day when it was a little bit cheaper, so that was good. I got my full tank of gas. I have to make an appointment to get my oil changed. I'd like to get that done today, but I don't know that I'm going to. See, if I can get that done today, get that taken care of before I go. And we are here already at the dollar store. I got I think I'll get my May cards too while I'm here. My watch, I didn't charge it yesterday, so much my, my watch has just gone dead on me. But I have my phone. My phone will tell me what time it is. I got the clock in the car too, so what am I complaining about? So let's head on into the store here, get our cards for the month, and then I will be back before you know it. I find that when I have the microphone on, at least, that uh, you don't hear the car noise. I don't know that it makes that much difference in the quality of my sound. But so I got all my cards for my April birthdays, which is really late. Okay, take this. I'll be right back. Oh well, eh. let's get situated. We went into the post office and they did not have any mail for me. So, but while I was in there, well, first of all, I was talking to Christy. I'm trying to get stuff situated about Mary. And then, uh, while I was coming out, Jimmy started texting me, and we were supposed to meet yesterday to put him on the safe deposit box, but uh, he um, couldn't make it because he was looking for his truck. But he just texted me to say that he could make it today at 3 o'clock. So I'm not going to the bank right now. After I pick Alyssa up from school, Jim will have to go with me to pick her up then because we both have to be there to sign the card. Uh, we'll go to the bank, and then I'll just exchange my money there then. But we're going to go to uh, CVS now. There was no mail in my mailbox, so got that checked off and out of the way. And it says no left turn, and the guy up here is waiting to make a left-hand turn. My view, so I like, the, I like the, the way things are going for me today here so far, because when I went to get my hair cut... Walk right in, sit right down. <laughs> well, I did a call ahead, but still, I was able to walk right in and sit down. And then when I went to the Dollar Tree, there was nobody there, so I was able to go to the carts, pick out my carts, and then when I went up to the register, walked right up to the register. And then from there, went to the post office. Of course, I just have a post office box, so I just walk right into there. CVS will be the test because they're always, always, always busy over here. So we'll see how that goes. But Jim and I went to Texas Roadhouse last night for dinner. I had a six ounce sirloin and I only ate half of it. So basically I ate three ounces of a sirloin steak. And then I had a half of my baked potato and I'll eat the other half tonight. I like a cold baked potato. I like my food. I don't eat warmed up leftovers. I don't like a leftover that's warmed over warmed up. I eat it cold. I like it cold. 
So what I'll do is I'll cut up a little bit of steak. I'll eat that. And I'll eat the other half of the potato. I had one dinner roll. And I brought one dinner roll home. So I'll have a dinner roll because, oh my gosh. I don't know so much that it's the dinner roll or the butter. Or the combination of the two. Because I love their rolls. I just love them. And then I had a nice tea. And I had a salad with Thousand Island dressing on it. I ate the whole salad. And then for breakfast, I had a hard-boiled egg, an ounce of cheese, and some strawberries and raspberries. I probably could have made that. The guy behind me says, yes, you probably could have made that. I can make this go for that. Um, hang on, hang on. But uh, we... Um, but when we were going, oh my gosh, they're... they're it's the season. It is the season for the construction because now they're doing all the construction. We have a new Chick-fil-A going in in this little pocket. Like right next to it is the Texas Roadhouse and across the street is uh, Olive Garden and then there's like Jersey Mike's and it's just like a really crowded little area. And uh, so... Um, it's, they're going to add an extra lane is what they're planning on doing. So we'll see if that's going to come to fruition. We'll see. Thank you for choosing CBS. Oh, I'll be right back. I was deciding if I should have this next little clip included because it's kind of annoying. I didn't. I put my microphone in a different spot than I normally put it on when I have it in the car. And I didn't realize that the microphone had come off and it was like rattling around between the seat and the uh, me. <laughs> it was. It was. It's kind of annoying but I was talking about my night out last night so um when you see me sitting in the car and noise starts bubbling blah, 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 like that you can skip on through until you get to me showing a picture of the tree in front of my house if you don't want to hear all the annoying noise it's it's a little annoying but I'll let you decide highway robbery I tell you no no receipt right. 84 cents of course if we didn't have insurance I can only imagine how much it would cost it would cost a fortune I forget what I was talking about before. Oh, so when we went to the road, the Texas Roadhouse, usually it's two lanes going straight, and then two lanes turning left, and one lane turning right. So it like five lanes. It's a big highway over there. But what they did was they took the two lanes going straight and made it one lane, but they didn't tell you that it was only going to be one lane. There was no warning. All right, you're so happy. Thank you. You too. So they didn't tell you it was going to be one lane. So all of a sudden, the people in the right lane have to get over into the left lane. And um, they, uh, the guy in front of me has like this little car, a little better than mine. So his was truly a clown car. And there was a big tractor trailer that had no notice that the lane was going to end. And... The tractor trailer just started coming over and the car was not going to let the tractor trailer in he had plenty of room to let him in but he wasn't going to let him in he kind of sped up thinking he was going to beat the tractor trailer <laughs> you are never going to beat a tractor trailer they are going to win every single time so they have the, the common sense to know you need to let him move over this guy was not letting him come over so he's laying on his horn and the truck driver is laying on his horn and he's still coming over and they got little snacks just in case they get hungry, little pretzels, just to grab, grab so I don't get tempted to pull into something fast food wise. Um, anyway, he uh, he had to go over into the left hand turn lane. Thankfully, there was room for him to get over because otherwise he was going to get smeared. He was just going to get he was going to cause an accident that would have went into oncoming traffic. And then when you got up to the front, to the actual to the light, they changed the two lanes turning left to only one lane turning left. Only one lane going straight, but they still had the one lane turning right. It was so flipping confusing. It was just, and everybody was like, Aah. and I thought, oh my gosh, if, if there's not an accident here, I don't know how there can't possibly be an accident. So then uh, they, um, when we got up to where the roadhouse was, it was, they had the smallest little area that you could turn left into their parking lot. It was it was horrendous. It was like, oh my gosh, we're going to get killed even before we go to get something for dinner. It was, it was so bad. But um, we um, we went in and we ordered, and the food was delicious. 
But I was very upset because Jim ordered a sirloin with shrimp. And he got this big massive plate. It had this little piece of sirloin with this potato. And I think he got four pieces of shrimp, maybe six. But I mean, he had a really, like a dinner plate. They crammed on my little luncheon plate, which wasn't even a luncheon plate as far as I'm concerned. My steak, which I had, oh, I had mushrooms on it. So steak with the mushrooms and my potato. And it was like, you couldn't even cut anything without it sliding off the plate. It was just so annoying. So when the manager, you know, they come around afterwards and how everything is. And, and I told her, I said, the food was delicious. It was cooked to perfection. I can't even have one complaint about the food. I said, but my complaint is that you served all of this food on this tiny little luncheon plate. And then she said, well, that's the plate that's designated for the, for the small sirloins. And I said, I understand that. And I understand that the reason you do that is because if you put it on a bigger plate, it would look like I didn't get very much food. I'm ordering a six-ounce steak, so I know that it's not going to be huge. I know it's not going to be a big piece of steak. And I'm ordering a potato. I said, but I could hardly even cut my meat without a, the potato sliding off the plate or something. I said, I, I just... I." I just don't like that idea that you put this on this little tiny luncheon plate. I think that, like, on a diet, you think, well, I'll put everything on a luncheon plate because then it'll look like I got more food. I know what I'm getting. And it was like, she didn't, she, I, so she didn't suggest, like, maybe next time ask for a bigger plate. Well, I don't want to ask for a bigger plate next time because then you don't, I don't know. I worked in, I worked in the food industry. And I know that, you know, like, they say that they don't do anything to I'm mean, to places probably don't, but you're always going to get that one person that maybe having a bad day or something. You know, they might just do something. I don't want to. I don't want to test the waters on that. So my plan is the next time I order that is when they bring it on the little tiny plate. I'm going to ask for another plate. So now you got one more plate that you got to wash because it's just. I th I thought it was ridiculous because it was. I can't. I should have took a picture. I, you know, I don't like when people take pictures of their food. That, that kind of thing. Unless you're doing a recipe, and you're sharing a recipe, and you take a picture of the food so they can see how it's going to turn out. Or people put on Facebook or, on, or something, I just made this, or I just bought that. That's just not me. That's just not who I'm going to be. But I should have taken a picture of it just to show you how crammed it was on the plate. It would be like if, maybe I'll show you that. Nah, show you that. It would be like if I put it on a saucer, my, my leftovers. It would be comparable to that. Of how it was because it was ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. The thing I wanted to do now that I'm getting on this ring, I want to make sure I got everything done before I got home. Yeah, the only thing I got, I got to pick up a list of. Oh, I got to get my sink and buzzer key. I got to do that. Yeah, I'm pretty much on schedule here. Still going to pick up the trash. I think I wanted to mail something and my mail was already in my box, so I think the mailman came. I don't know. Oh no, my flag is still up. I thought maybe he must have come early today. He'll just go up tomorrow. Not a biggie. No big deal. But let me show you how pretty my tree is. Turn it around. It's all white and then a little bit of purple. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Drag up a little bit. A little bit of purple on the end down there. So, it'll all turn into green. That's what it looks like so far. Well, the temperature certainly has dropped. I should have wore a coat, Jim. But look at him with short sleeve. I got a sweatshirt on. At least I'm a little bit more prepared. Um, I am preparing. It's going to be colder. It's going to be about this temperature when we get to Alaska. Right. So, I'll be prepared for the coolness. I won't have to dress up like Nanook of the North. But we're going to be in the north. Exactly, but I won't have to dress and be all bundled up. No, oh, okay. I'll be able to move freely. There you go. And there she is. There she comes. Walking down the street. She has plenty of looks from everyone she meets. Is this your new truck or is it a rental? This is my new truck. This is Dad, Jimmy's new truck. Look at him. 
I like this blue. We all, you looked at a blue like that, didn't you, Joe? Yeah, we did. Police car blue. Police car blue. Look at how nice. It's nice and clean for now. It's already dirty. Police are buying. Buying, I don't lease. You don't leave. You get too many miles on it. I go 24,000 miles a year. That doesn't work. How many miles is on this? 75, I think. Well, that's not too bad. Hmm. When did you get it? Yesterday? Yesterday. Cool. Where'd you get it? Well, we're all done. We got uh, Jimmy's name switched over to the uh, safe deposit box, and then I didn't realize that my bank accounts, I didn't have beneficiaries listed. So we got that all taken care of, too, so I got that all done. I thought I did that when I did my will, but she had pointed out that I didn't, so we did all that. I'm going to have my leftovers, weather, three ounces of sirloin steak for dinner, and the other half a baked potato, probably some iced tea with it, and then... Just settle in for the night. Watch some YouTube videos. So other than that, that's about it. So let's talk again tomorrow.